So now I'm going to get this Daniel Smith Naples Yellow and mix up a good load up here. Obviously now it's like working from a dry half pen rather than squeezing fresh cheap watercolors. Gosh, I'm hoping this didn't happen to my other pans. It's a lovely peach color which I haven't worked with for a little bit. Okay, so maybe that should be enough, hopefully. Let's just swatch it out right here. And then I will start Oh god, by this time the other one would have dried. <laughs> Thank goodness I only have a few colours to try out today. Okay, I don't think I'll need that much, so I'll start from here. Adding a little bit. So this is quite pretty. I like it as a colour, but let's see how the granulation would work in this. Seems to be still separating, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to add a bit more. Uh, but basically I'm trying to get these gradual mixes. And I'll go the other way around by the looks of it. Oh, look at that, that's quite pretty. So I'm going to add bit by bit. Gradually getting more to the to this color. Look at that, something is leaking out of there. The peach, the peach wants to escape. Let's bring in this peach, whatever it is. These are quite pretty. Almost feels wasteful to be uh, mixing it such an expensive color or well, one of them the Primatex are quite pricey with a um, color that's actually has white in it which is the Naples yellow okay and just this color on its own okay well we got a bunch of these colors which I already actually have here but I think I still would go ahead and mix it with these. So this is a June Brilliant number one and Jean Brilliant number two. And then we have those two. Will we be able to fit them all in? So this is nice and different enough. And this is very similar to it. So let's just pick one. I'll go with the Mission Gold. Jean Brilliant number one, which seems to be very similar, if not the same, as the um, Holbein number two. Okay, so I'll just use one. And I will use up this color in my other journal. Okay, Jean Brilliant number one by Mission Gold. So this is a more peachier color. Also one of the opaques. I mean it can look like gouache, so it does need a huge amount of water. So let me just mix it up like that a bit. So you can see why I'm enjoying these palettes. 
I'll try to link them down below for you. I think the price is about seven or eight pounds. Uh, for one. Just to not be wasteful, I think I'm going to swatch it a couple of times. Like that. Okay, so let's start. It still wants to granulate, so that's good. But of course, if the white pigment is quite heavy, we will lose that beautiful granulation. So I think it is starting to happen here, unless I'm gonna dab a bit more water and get it going which means we're getting less of the color here. It's a tough one to mix to have that peach come through. Okay, well, that's interesting enough, I'd say. Especially for skin tones. Let me use up this color again in the other sketchbook and I'll be back for the final two colors. I have to say, this more watered out mix is really pretty. So that's the same mix as I just did here. It's um, similar to Naples yellow, but definitely on a peach side, as you can see. Kind of pretty. But again, you know, it's up to each each taste, really. Okay, so uh, next one, I saved some of my hematite violet genuine here, which is great. So, oop. Okay, that should be enough. And then let's go with New Gamboge first. So this is a PY97 and PY101. So fingers crossed, yeah, this one is still fine. This is a beautiful vibrant color. So it should keep us a nice mix, I would say. Okay, let's start mixing it in here.
Yeah, so I like a bit more pigment than more water. That's interesting. Similar to lemon yellow, that kind of brightness is coming through. So I'm going to use up this color and then we'll do the last one. Okay, the last color is Indian yellow. Let's have a look. Now, I love Indian yellow on its own, so let's see what happens. If we introduce this is a very bright color, it won't need much. Okay, let's start. Let's just move things a little bit. It's quite interesting, it pushed it already quite strongly <laughs> into the yellow there's the PY yeah 150 in there which does that which is the nickel azo yellow I need a little bit more of it. I do like it with these bright yellows, similar to quinacridone gold. We experienced that last time in the previous video. These mixes. Okay. All right, I will do the same with this color. Let me just bring up the tray to show you this gorgeousness. Okay, so all the colors are now pretty much dry and I wanted to give you a little close up. Maybe you'll discover some mixes that you like. So again, this is with lemon yellow. This one is with Naples yellow. Here we have June Bullion number one. Depending on the brand, uh, it could be titled number two. Like the Holbein one, number two is pretty much very similar. Uh, New Gamboge. And Indian yellow. My personal favorites would have to be I quite like these peachy colors here, but then I was able to mix them very similar up here and then get also the yellow mixes as well. So I'd go with the lemon yellow mix and the Indian yellow. This one is quite interesting actually because it already has a peach tone in the base. You can see it separates into this peach tone. And the peach tone is very similar to the peach tone in the June Brilliant Number no. 1 by Mission Gold. So the pigments here that we have are PO73, PY65 and PW6. So it's got also white in there. In fact, these two have white. And you can see that this peach is just becoming peachier as it gets here. So... It's a very fitting color to kind of elevate that peach tone in there if you wanted to do that and kind of um, bring it more to this peach and away from the dark but still have the black granulation there. So 
that's it for today in the next video we'll explore oranges see you then thanks for watching